So you call the expired listing. As soon as you start talking to them, going through your script, the person say, no, thank you, not interested. Or you call the for sale by owner and you are trying to set an appointment, you think you're getting ahead and they say, not interested, bring your buyer or I will not listen to you, they hang up the phone. Or maybe you went to a listing presentation and you thought you had it in the bag. And the end of the presentation, as you start closing, the person say, I'll call you later. I'll let you know. I'm talking to two other agents and you don't get the signature. Or maybe you're following up with a lead from Zillow or from Trulia or Realtor.com or your Facebook ad. And the person just say, no, no, not interested. Thank you. What's going on here? You know, I can tell right away that if you're not getting opponents, if you're not getting signature on your presentations, you are probably missing out. You are probably very weak or poor in this great, vital, crucial skill. You know which skill I'm talking about? The skill of building rapport. Let me repeat, the skill of building rapport. Hello everyone, this is your coach V here. And today let's talk about this skill that's gonna build you a lot of business, that's going to build your business that is strong, that is powerful, that's gonna bring you sales, appointment, momentum, signature, freedom, money. That you're gonna be able to help a lot of people. So are you building rapport on the level 10, level seven? On a scale one to 10, how are you doing? Let me say this to you, my friends, and I want you to pay attention and watch this several times. Your ability of building rapport will determine the level that they trust you, they like you, they believe in you. And we know trust is everything in relationship. What is real estate? Real estate is a connection. Real estate is relationship business. Real estate is a conversation. And if you fail in building rapport, you are in trouble. You're not gonna become the trusted advisor. You're just gonna be like everybody else. Why you are failing with your online leads? You're just like everybody else. Why you're not getting a lot of appointments? You're not building rapport. You're not building the trust, the identity the connection, the relationship, that they wanna hear more from you, that they wanna meet with you. So coach, what is rapport? The ability to connect with people. Building rapport is the ability to build a relationship, to create affinity, and ultimately, ultimately, above all, building trust. Building trust. And I'll say it again, and I want you to bring this inside of your heart and your mind and register this. People would do business with you if they trust you, they like you and believe in you. If they don't trust you, you don't have the sale. If they don't, if they don't trust you, they're not gonna give you the house to sell. They're gonna hire, not gonna hire you to buy the home. They're not gonna invest with you. Trust is everything in sales. So you don't have to convince people, you don't have to push people, you don't have to be salesy, you don't even have to worry. When you build a lot of trust, you show so much value, you build so much connection, affinity, identity, you are so related, you have such a this beautiful relationship, so much understanding, they will trust you. Therefore, they'll do business with you, they will refer you, they'll come back to you, everything for them, real estate, is you. So coach, you might be saying, Help me to build rapport. Help me to become an amazing presenter. Help me to understand how I can communicate so I can lead, influence, get my appointments, get my appointments into signatures. Help me with this. So let me go over some points here that I want you to know for sure. Are you ready? Please take notes and promise me you're going to act on this. You're going to execute on this. You're going to learn and you are going to take the time to develop those skills to, de- to learn how to build rapport. Promise? Awesome. So number one thing I want you to write on, work on, write it up. Know yourself, know your product, know your client. What do you mean, Coach V? You got to know yourself. When you understand how you think, your personality, your psychology, what you expect, how you perceive the world, you'll be able to 
improve, adapt, adjust, tweak and make it better. So you gotta know yourself really well. Knowing others is strength. Know yourself is pure power, is liberation. So know yourself, understand how you think so you can be able to adjust and adapt. Know your product. What that means, if you are selling homes, and all of you guys are selling homes, my tribe here are great salespeople, you gotta know your product. You gotta know the floor plans, you gotta know the style of homes, you gotta know the neighborhood, you gotta know the school district, you you gotta know what, uh, what uh, if it's a house, it's a condo, you gotta know the product so well, so you're strong, confident, they can smell and they can hear your confidence. They can see your confidence because you know the product. Next thing on this point, know the client. You're going to talk to a client, you're going to go to a listing presentation, Google the client, know the client. You're going to meet them in a listing presentation, pre-qualify them to the bone, know everything about the client. You're going to call for sale by owner, understand the psychology of a sale by owner, understand the objections of the for sale by owner, know how to handle those objections, know how to close. Know your client, know your avatar so well. Answer the question so well that you build so much rapport and trust. Plus, what, if you know what they do, how they do it, what they think, you can tell stories that they can relate to. You can give examples that they can identify themselves with. So you can guide them. You can influence by telling the story, by telling the analogy that they understand. When they feel related to you, when they identify with you, when they know you got their back, you're gonna take care of them, they will follow you, they will do business with you, they're going to trust you, love you, and your business will grow. So number one, know yourself, know the product, know the client, okay? Number two, mirror match. Do you mirror match? So you call a for sale by owner, and the lady goes, hello, and you go, hi, is this blah, blah, you already lost it, she's gonna hang up. She said, hello, you go, hi, da, da. you have no rapport right there. You sound so different. She's going to say, who is this person? Click. You sound so different. Okay. So you got to mirror match the breathing. You got to mirror match the pitch. If they speak in a low voice, go talk to in a low voice from their chest. If they speak high, you speak a little high because you got to mirror match until you build enough rapport so you can be yourself. Right here, you wanna be in harmony. Write this down, harmony is important. So you gotta mirror match. If they say hello, you say hello. So tonality, you gotta match the tonality immensely. The speed, the pace, right, pace is speed, the volume, mirror match. If they're excited, be excited. If they calm and reserve, be calm and reserve. Mirror and match. And if you are in front of them, you mirror match the body language, you mirror match also um, not only the tonality, but you also mirror match the words, right? So you mirror match the tonality, you mirror match the body language, and of course, everything else. Next, personal style. By the way, I teach all this on my course and in my group coaching. This is fundamental. You gotta know this. You can communicate, you can lead, you can recruit, you can sell if you don't understand communication skills, if you don't understand how to build rapport, how to mirror match, you got to know, got to know your skills. So, personal styles. If you don't understand the driver, the analytical, the expressive, and the amiable, if you speak French to a Russian, you lost the transaction. If you speak English to a Spanish speaking, they don't understand what that means. Understand the way they process information, the way they see the world, the way that they are presented so you stay in harmony, so you build more rapport, okay? If they speak in a very short, hi, what do you want? Hi, I'm just got, and then you go right there, talk. Again, I'm only mirror match, but the personality style as well, you raise the intensity and you speak the way they like to be spoken to. It shows consideration, okay? So go ahead and do that. Another thing is, Practice empathy. Put it here. Big stars all the way around. Practice empathy. Do you want to be amazing? Put yourself in the position of your buyers, of your sellers, of your leads. Talk to them like you really care. Talk to them like they're your best friend. Fall in love with your clients. Fall in love with your leads and you see your business flourish. People can tell when you care. People can smell when they know you have their back. 
If they trust you, they will do business with you. So don't go making, trying to make an appointment or trying to interrogate someone, a lead from online, from your social media, or excuse me, online leads from your Zillow or Trulia or your Facebook ads. Don't interrogate people. Talk to them like you're the best friend. Talk to them with empathy. Talk to them with consideration, respect, and you want your business grow. Don't go try to close people, set a point with people, sell them something without building rapport. Build rapport first. Then you can build value, show your contribution, your value, bring your insights, stack the gold, then you can close. Don't give pricing between value and before, between before value and before building rapport. You miss the sale, okay? And the next one is, let's improve your communication skills. You gotta be way better in listening. Stop nudging people, stop interrupting people, stop talking too much, stop uh, finish people conversation, ask a question, zip it, let them talk. Let them finish. Ask great question, ask relevant question. Let them know you care, let them know you're here for them. Be amazing with your communication skills, your money. Your success, your bank account is a direct proportion of your level of communication. Can you influence? Can you lead? Can you persuade? Can you sell? Learn how to build rapport by mirror matching, by understanding personality style, understanding yourself, understanding the client, understanding the product, knowing the product, know how to sell, learning communication skills. Do this and I promise your business go through the roof. I promise they're gonna love you. I promise they're gonna like you. I promise they're gonna refer you and do business with you again and again. So, I hope you like this video. This is what I teach, this is what I coach, this is how I make you guys Jedi and amazing and selling one, two, three, four, five homes per week. Like I was selling 10 homes, sometimes even my best week, I sold 12 homes in a week. You can learn this. You can become amazing in communication and persuasion and influence. Now you have to be amazing in building rapport. So I hope again, you like this video. Subscribe here for my, uh, for my channel. <laughs> Push the button, this is what I meant. Push the button, baby. Subscribe here. Share this video with your team, with anyone who needs to know how to build rapport, understanding all the skills of mirror matching and everything. And let me know if you have any questions for me. Put it here for me and I scale it one to 10. How good are you on building rapport? How is your conversion level right now? So, lots of love. I'll talk to you soon. Go sell our homes, go rock and roll, and be your best. Do your best, learn the skills, Practice and be amazing. Talk to you soon. Ciao.